Hey there. <laughs> I wanted to talk about something today that was completely different than what we usually do. And I want to do this more often, like commenting on cultural things. We'll see. You'll see if I can stay disciplined enough and consistent enough to do this on a regular basis. But I thought tonight would be a good night to do it because today is actually Abigail's birthday. Usually we have a nightly Bible study that we stream every night. Um, but tonight, because of Abigail's birthday party, Abigail is my uh, now eight-year-old daughter. Um, we are not going to be able to do the live stream. So I, I figured I'd hop on here by myself um, and do this. And so I wanted to talk today about uh, whether or not Kanye West and Eminem, two famous hip hop artists, are they actually Christians? And I don't usually do this at all. This is not my thing. But as I was praying today, I felt like God told me to mention it. Um, this reminds me of a dream that I had a few years back. And in that dream, there were some celebrities in the dream, and they were Christian. They had become Christian. But these guys, they were they were not just claiming to be Christians. They had really thought deeply about theological issues and things that were debated. And these people were A-list celebrities, right? And when I came out of that dream and I woke up and I, and I was asking God about it, like, what does this mean? And I felt like God was saying that when revival hits, A-list celebrities will, will, you'll start to see people, really famous people begin to, you know, convert to Christianity. But God was pointing out to me that that there was kind of like a, a test of whether or not that had really taken place, that you were going to be able to see signs that the person really thought deeply about the scriptures and, and, and what they had taken on, like that they took on the name of Christ. They weren't taking it lightly. You can really tell from this dream that they had thought deeply about what it meant to be a Christian. And so uh, this morning I wake up. And I saw uh, like some videos this morning saying that that Eminem had, had jumped on a, a Kanye West beat and DJ Khaled had produced some album and, you know, and that, you know, he was seemed to be confessing Jesus Christ as Lord on the record. And now so I listened to the record one time and on it, it definitely seemed like Eminem was claiming that Jesus Christ was his Lord. And so the question is, is that true? Well, I want to point us to a scripture, a passage of scripture, because we know that the scripture, the word of God, is the thing that informs what our belief, our faith, and it gives us direction and understanding of these things. So when I look at Matthew, the seventh chapter, the 15th verse, it says, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves who will reckon, you will recognize them by their fruits, are grapes gathered from thorn bushes, or figs from thistles so every healthy tree bears good fruit but the diseased tree bears bad fruit the healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire thus you will recognize them by their fruits and so what jesus is saying is there is a way to recognize who someone is now i know this passage is talking about false prophets and we wouldn't fancy uh, Kanye West or Eminem prophets but the principle still applies that if you claim to be something you should be bearing the fruit of that thing right so if a seed is planted in the ground and we claim that it's an apple seed we we expect to see when the season comes apples sprout out from that tree well when you think about that analogy it takes time from the time of planting the seed to the time of bearing fruit before we can verify, right? If you weren't there, if you didn't know what kind of seed was being planted, if all you knew that there was a seed planted, you weren't there when the, when the planting happened. The only thing we can do is wait to see what kind of fruit sprouts from the tree. And so is so it is with Eminem and Kanye West from the time they claim to be Christians, from the time they tell you, look, a seed of righteousness was planted in me from that time. All we can do is watch and wait and see what kinds of fruit they bear. Amen. And so the Bible does give us clues and hints on why on how we can recognize who people are now does that mean we judge people and condemn them to hell god forbid 
I nor you have a hell to put Eminem or Kanye West in. But I do think it's interesting that Jesus would say this in the scriptures that we should be aware, that we should know who is of us and who is not of us, which leads me to a passage uh, in the New Testament, one of the letters from one of the apostles is the apostle John, first John, the second chapter in the 15th verse, it reads, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the father is not in him for all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the of the eyes and pride of life is not from the father but is from the world and the world is passing away along with its desires but whoever does the will of god abides forever now so the way john writes this letter is he is he is very careful to point out the differences between someone who is a believer and someone who is not a believer someone who does love God or has the love of the father in them and someone who doesn't right and so why would he mention this if we were not to pay attention to the people around us and the people who claim to be Christians why would he say this if this is not something that we should be doing right he should just say he should say look look if someone says they're a Christian believe them and and, and and leave it at that but he doesn't do that uh, another thing that that john says in this same chapter uh, verse 18 he says children it is the last hour and as you have heard that antichrist is coming so now many antichrists have come therefore we know that it is the last hour they went out from us but they were not of us for if they had been of us they would have continued with us but they went out that it might become plain that they are all not of us. And so John is making the distinction between those who truly believe and those who do not. He says, you're going to know them when they when they stray away. He was saying, look, the fact that they that they claim to be a Christian, they claim to have Jesus as their Lord and that they drifted away tells us that they never were Christians in the first place. Now, I look at Kanye West and some of the things that i that i've seen uh happen with him recently and 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 it does raise a question for me about his salvation not because i'm obsessed with him not because i want to determine whether or not he's going to heaven or hell but uh i took an interest in in this this particularly because of what i said uh in the beginning because of a dream that i had a few years back i believe god gave me a dream that in this dream there were all these a-list celebrities getting saved and they and they were becoming christians and we knew that they were christians in the dream because they had deeply thought about a lot of theological issues and they had answers for them you can tell they really studied deeply the 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 teachings of the faith and they had they had considered their own uh, um religious beliefs from from you know that they had growing up and they were forsaking those things and giving detailed reasons why they had left the faith and i believe god told me that when i saw that happen then you know that revival really has taken a hold because truly when the when revival takes place and the holy spirit is sweeping through the nation right it'll be an irresistible force that won't just touch us regular people right the normies <laughs> but but it'll also touch uh, uh people who who you know who, who have great fame and wealth Th they'll be moved also by this by this moving of the holy spirit and so and so because of that dream i always uh my ears perk up whenever uh, someone who is of great stature uh in the culture seems to be claiming uh, that they're that they're believers, and so when I look at at Kanye West's story, and from the time that he claimed to be a Christian and released that album Jesus is King, which I enjoyed thoroughly when it came out, and and looking at his life now, there are some questions I have. We just read a passage that said that that uh, um, that you cannot love the world, right? Um, and say that the love of the father is in you and and it seems like a lot of the people he's associated himself with more recently 
um, they they don't seem to be uh, people who have given their lives over to the Lord. Uh, when we look at James, the fourth chapter and the fourth verse, it says, You adulterous people, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. And so if someone claims to be a Christian and yet there is no separation between them and the people in the world, no clear separation that we can see. Now, obviously, if you live in a home where there's unsafe people, you're not going to just move out necessarily right away or or, you know, push them away. But if you have the choice to choose who you're surrounding yourself with and you're, you're seen surrounding yourself with people who are in the world does raise a red flag again i'm not with kanye west only god knows so it's not for me to judge uh kanye west at all i don't know i don't know whether he's a christian i don't know where whether or not eminem is a christian but i would say from what i see publicly um with kanye west in particular over time it seems like there's something missing there and so i would be cautious and so the purpose of this video is really to 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 think about what we call Christians and, and how we think about um, that question of Christianity. And, and is this dangerous, right, for uh, uh, what we are trying to do as the body of Christ and winning the world to Jesus? If we have people who really have not thought deeply about uh, what it is to be a Christian, um, defining what it is to be a christian to greater society it really can cause some confusion and cause our job to be a lot more difficult when we go out there trying to witness trying to share the love of jesus christ trying to win people win the loss to christ and so i i I do think that this is this this whole thing with eminem and uh, a lot of different artists mentioning jesus and god and christianity in their music and in their expression is is concerning because because I don't want for there to be a distorted picture of what it is to be a Christian out there. I certainly don't want to be a person who just gets up here and make exposed videos and judges people and points out their flaws, God forbid. But I do want Christianity and the name of Christ to be honored and respected, not just in the church, but in the world at large, because he is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords, and he deserves all glory and honor. And any tainting or diminishing of him and his glory just makes it harder for us to get the gospel out there um, to other folks. Hope this was helpful. Take care. God bless.